Okay, everybody, so the second time I'm using my power washer. My wife and I bought this old filing cabinet at a thrift store. It was pretty dirty, so I was scrubbing it up. Uh, I got a new hose for the power washer because one of my viewers commented on how the hose was leaking. Uh, so that's a good tip. Thank you for that tip. Um, so I was just using it, though, and all of a sudden lost pressure. So I was spraying this drawer out and uh, lost pressure and looked over and this is what was happening. Water is just pouring out from the housing. You can see up under here. I hope you can see that. So there's like right here where it hooks to the power washer line right here. Uh, water is just spraying out of there like crazy. So I think it cracked. Um, so this baby is gonna go back to Harbor Freight and we'll see how they treat me. I've only owned it for a couple of weeks, so I'm hoping to get a replacement or a refund on it, and we'll see how that goes. Okay, I got the 2300 PSI electric power washer Bauer brand in the back of the car, and I'm headed back to Harbor Freight now after work, and uh, hopefully this will go smoothly. I'm sure I'm not alone in the matter of any time I return something, I'm expecting it to be a big hassle. So let's see how this goes. Okay, I'm here. And uh, one thing I just wanted to say I do like about this power washer is you can easily remove the handle and fit it in the trunk of your car. So that is a nice feature. Breaking the second time you use it is not a nice feature. Good morning, everybody, and good day. I wanted to give you an update on the power washer. Um, so I did take it back to Harbor Freight. I did decide to return it, and I had many, many issues with returning it. Um, because I had bought the item using a new credit card application, I got 10% off my whole order. But uh, basically, Harbor Freight didn't automatically give me the 10% off everything. So the employees on the original purchase um, discounted two of the higher ticketed items to equal 10% off the whole order, if that makes sense to you guys. So I was there for quite a while and I was very frustrated. And in the end, they did not refund me the total amount that I technically had paid for the power washer. So I had made a video and I posted it here and ranted about Harbor Freight, but the store manager called me the next day and apologized and said he misunderstood what I was trying to do. So he thought I was trying to return the whole order, everything I had bought, and instead of returning everything I bought uh, for the exact price that I paid, I was trying to get the full amount uh, back. So I think he thought I was trying to scam them. Uh, he was not physically at the store uh, when this happened, but um, he did make it right and refunded me the proper amount and apologized. So I really appreciate that. So I have to do a 180 on my rant video. I took that video down and uh, I have to say kudos to the Moses Lake uh, Harbor Freight, Moses Lake, Washington, um, because they did come through and give me the proper refund. So I really appreciate that. Uh, back to the power washer. Um, I did make that decision because it broke the second time I used it. So I was not thrilled with that. And I decided I don't really want to have a power washer like that if it's gonna break that easily. And I know it could have been just a fluke, but you only get a 90 day warranty. And I did not buy the extended warranty on it from Harbor Freight. So I would say be careful of that Bauer 2300 uh, electric power washer. And if you do buy it, buy the extended warranty and um, just make sure you read all the instructions, which I had done. I don't think I did anything wrong, but um, I would mark that as a proceed with caution purchase from Harbor Freight. All right, thanks for watching. Make sure you give me a thumbs up like.